Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeff with One Seed. It's Wednesday night in like a perfect 72, 73 degrees here in the Lou. And uh, that's unusually nice for August. Usually August is like really hot, so hot that you don't want to even go out like in your blow up pool like we got. And yeah, I have a blow up pool, yeah, but I have four kids, so it's okay. If I didn't have the four kids, that might, would that be weird? I think it'd probably be weird. It's a little pool. But you know, any blow up pool for that matter, without kids, might be kind of weird. That's what I'm just thinking. It's, yeah, it's, so that's kind of weird that I'm mentioning this, but it's just all about, you know, cause I'm addressing the weather. So we do have a blow up pool and I have four kids, so it's all good. And uh, it is a nice pool, by the way. We just got back from Elevation Church in Charlotte, North Carolina early this week. It was an amazing trip. The church was awesome. The experience was awesome. We can't wait to go back sometime. Charlotte was gorgeous. Um, you know, I don't know if it can hang with like Highway 70 here around Mid Rivers Mall Drive with the trailers and the uh, the semis and the industrial parks. But uh, you know, outside of that, it's got gorgeous green pastures, really old tall trees, horses on the side of the road, horse farms. Very therapeutic for the mind. Uh, it was awesome. We can't wait to go back. But after a few days, you know, we really miss our home. We miss what's familiar. We miss where we feel the most free, which is in our house, literally in our house. We miss our bed. You know, you miss your shower, your, your pantry, uh, the type of food you eat without having to go out to eat all the time. Just all the things that are familiar. Uh, it's where you abide. It's where you stay. It's where you find comfort and peace and you feel the most free in your, in your day-to-day life. If you look at chapter 8, of John verse 31 32 it says then Jesus said to those who believed him if you abide in my word you are my disciples indeed and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free he didn't say if you read my word here and there he didn't say if you glance at it or if you just pull it up on the Bible app and then you know read a little bit every quarter or four or five months and then start that Bible plan over again he said if you abide in my word stay in it, dwell in it, live in it. Jesus was the Word made flesh. God became flesh. He is the Word. The Word is the essence of God. If you abide in His Word, you abide in Him. When you abide in Him, you abide in the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So we hope this is a word of encouragement to someone today. Um, If you like this video, share it, uh, put a comment, Uh, help us spread the word. Uh, We're trying to reach people one seed at a time, which is why we named the ministry as such. And uh, we just hope you have a blessed day and uh, find comfort in that little message as I did as I was missing my home. And I want to abide in Christ just like I abide in my home because it's where I feel the most free and it's where I find comfort and joy. God bless you in Jesus name.